Hello and welcome to my channel. So today we have a question again from Bo. And Bo is saying, I have been recognizing that I'm having a hard time processing emotions. They get stuck. I don't manage to acknowledge and process them and even feel guilt towards not being able to do so. What kinds of tips, practices do you recommend on regulating emotions? So emotions are the way for your brain to process and it is using the nervous system for that. So it spreads down basically through your body. The first step would be to find out where this emotion is stuck. Is it more stuck in your lower centers or more in the upper centers? Where do you feel the emotion constricted stuck? And um, you're having that problem because you do not want them. You do not like that it is there, the emotion. So we are having a conflict with the emotion instead of just letting it be and come to its process. So the brain, like I said in the beginning, will use the nervous system to project down through the nervous system and process so the emotion can dissolve. There are a few ways that we can do that. The yogis would do pranayama and um, there's also another way which I will tell you later on in that video. So first I would suggest to become aware of where this emotion is projecting to. Then don't have a conflict with it, don't interact with it, just let it be and rest in your awareness, in your sense of being, just let it be. Okay, this is a practice that you can do any time that you remind yourself of it, you know, during the day. Then I would suggest a very beautiful pranayama. Um, a lot of you guys know the alternate breathing in, in yoga, which is very beneficial. And you can even hold the breath and then breathe out through the other nostril, breathe in through the other hold, etc., etc. This is uh, the classical process. But there is an easier way to achieve the th same thing. And for this, I would suggest for you to lie down on your back, on a yoga mat or whatever, on the, on the ground, on something firm, and even put uh, a little pillow, not, not a big one, something to just support, um, support the head so it is a little bit up. Close your eyes, relax the body, and then I use a metronome app something that is ticking in the seconds, or you can use a ticking watch, whatever you like. The process is as follows. You breathe in, in your belly. So the, when you breathe in, the belly goes out. And when you breathe out, the belly goes in. So we want to achieve a HRV resonance, heart rate variability um, breathing. And when we breathe out, we breathe out for <clears throat> a count of six. Uh, when we breathe in for a count of six and we breathe out again for a count of six. When we do the breathing with the stomach out and in, it must be active. So we activate the nervous, the vagus nerve. <clears throat> so again, you breathe in for six seconds. You breathe out actively. You push the stomach a little bit down until you feel almost all air is out. And then again, use a metronome or a ticking watch. And you can do that for about 20 minutes. That should be, the effect uh, should be really felt in a very calming, relaxed and free sensation in the whole body and mind. You can also split that practice. If you cannot do 20 minutes at one, 20 minutes at once, you split it, do 10 minutes in the morning, 10 minutes in the afternoon or at night. Please, uh, not directly after eating, 
yes, uh, make sure that the stomach is empty two to three hours after eating or just first thing in the morning. That will calm your nervous system and your mind enormously. And you do that for about six months to get the full effect. What will happen, the side effect or yeah, the, the effect of it basically is that your uh, subtle uh, subtle energy pathways, the nadis, called in yoga, they get purified in the same way they would be purified when we do breath holds and alternate breathing. But this is um, as efficient and as good and uh, very approachable to, um, to our times now. Now, uh, the other thing you can do is, during the day I already mentioned in the beginning of the video how you can always come back to awareness to being just letting noticing where the emotion is stuck and then you would om om through it so not uh, not vocally but silently you would place the om in om in that center where the emotion is stuck and that will also help to dissolve it so it isn't a little bit an ongoing practice that you can do during the day, but um, it can help you a lot. I hope this answers your question. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'd be happy to see you next time. Take care. Bye bye.